let's start with a disclaimer. These aren't pure copper pellets. They are copper coated with lead inside so they will not fall into the right regulation for the UK. Having said that, I do have a batch of totally lead free lightweight high velocity pellets that I will throw into the mix today. Welcome back folks. So with the world going Greenpeace and all on us and global warming and all of that, the next evolution is towards lead. So we saw that you get now lead free paint, lead free toys. Well, I was born in a fully leaded environment and at age 47, I'm still all right-ish, all right-ish, all right-ish. No, just kidding. I think I'm still all right. So is the ban on lead and lead pallets specifically driven by the UK and the Euro? How's that going to influence us going forward as air gun lovers, as shooters, as plinkers, as hunters? I know there's certain concessions already considered in the sport of people that belongs to a club and all of those nitty nitty legislation and all that nonsense. But how's that going to affect us going forward? So, some of the manufacturers are already one step ahead with, believe it or not, copper pallets. All right. There are also other stuff in there. Where's my little box? You get Barracuda Greens as well. You can see this is still a sealed tin. This is the 30 meter Barracuda Greens in 20.96 grain. They're going to be slightly fast out of this little baby of mine, but this is a lead free pellet. The challenge with this lead free pellet is it costs between three to four times the normal price of pellets. It's extremely difficult to manufacture. They look quite pretty, nice and silver in the tin. I'll open it for you guys just now. But expenses is going to outweigh the blinking eventually. Because this is now going to become a rich man's sport if we go this route. On the copper scenario at least, the pellets are about 60% more expensive than lead. So it's still a huge jump in price, but at least that's still in affordability type range. Interesting to note that the BC on the copper pellets are higher than the BC on the lead pellets. They're slightly harder, slightly smoother and should hold more power and speed when it reaches the target. All well, that's the theory behind it. But the big question for us is, is it accurate? Alright, so that's what I'm going to do today. So I'm very fortunate to have the field target trophy power in copper. These are the 14.66 grains and I'm going to put them against the Barracuda 18s in lead because I've got a lot of them to do that and then I've got the Barracuda Powers in 21.14 grain and luckily I've got some Barracuda matches left also in 21.14 so that should be a very very close matched accurate type scenario there so without further ado Let's jump into this, the normal setup, I'm going to shoot them from power setting 1 all the way to max, I'll give you guys the speeds as I go along, and then we're going to measure them and weigh them and all those nice things at 30 meters. So I'll give you guys a summary at 30 meters, if there's promise within the copper that they look like anything like grouping like the lead babies, I'm going to take them out to 60 meters and repeat the exercise. So hold on to your hats, we're going to jump right into this. Before I start shooting, there's a couple of concerns and I made a note here and the one thing that concerns me probably the most is that copper is a much harder substance than lead. How is that going to affect the barrel of the gun? Is it going to damage the gun or not? So with the FX Impact Smooth X, I don't foresee that it can damage the barrel that much. The smooth tooth basis only has a slight grooving right at the end just to put a bit of spin on the pallet. But how is this going to work with more aggressively grooved barrels like the Lothar Waltars of the world, the Styers for that matter, which is extremely aggressively grooved. So how is that going to affect it? How is it going to affect our pockets? That's number two. Is the difference in BC big enough to look at that copper scenario? How is the manufacturer going to keep up with demand worldwide? Or are they only going to specify, look at the UK market where the current ban on lead is being proposed? So there's a couple of concerns there. I don't have all the answers. You're more than welcome to leave me a comment if you've got more information on that. Luckily in South Africa at this stage in the fight, we can't even get a guns license, never mind getting lead through. At least we've got 500 blockies of toilet paper. But that's a different scenario that was actually debated in Parliament. So let's not go there. If toilet paper is more important than guns, let Parliament fight about that. 
I'm gonna concentrate on shooting. All right, 30 meters, coming right up. First up, I'm gonna shoot the Barracuda Hunters in 18s. The Barracuda 18s, sorry, not the Hunters, Barracuda 18s. And the reason for that is I need to get a benchmark setting first on to accuracy and how the rest is gonna perform. I've already done a video on the Barracuda 18s, but I need to shoot them in exactly the same conditions that I'm gonna shoot the field trophies in. So that the circumstances, the wind, the atmosphere, the gun settings, everything is exactly identical to give us the best possible results. So, let's get on to this. Barracuda 18s. that's a pretty decent benchmark let's quickly go and have a look at that and then we can switch over to the copper babies all right so that was as expected one holing across the board with one flyer but that one shot was at a weird weird odd speed no wonder it was shooting low but the rest of that i think that's a pretty standard to meet and match everything with let's go with the field target trophy power yes that's a very long name but they are so pretty, they are so shiny, look at this. Oh, I nearly said liquid gold, but that's not liquid, but it looks like gold, it's copper. All right, so I'm just gonna hit three sighters first, and um, those will be the three way to the left on the target, don't be scared about that. And then I'm gonna start with power setting one, all the way out to max. Because these guys are so light, I think they're gonna run at a tremendous speed. So let's rethink that. Let's start at power setting minimum instead of that and run from there. I don't want these guys to crack and scare everybody around me and all the wildlife as well. Let's do this. Although those shots are to the right and low, they are I aimed exactly for the middle of the bull. So there's a different difference how they come out of the barrel than the lead babies that I'm used to shooting. So let's see if I need to compensate for that or if I can just keep on going. They were a lot slower out of the gun than anticipated, so I'm going to push them all the way up to max and see what happens. Um, there's some pockets that's really, really great, but I got a couple of flyers, which is weird. Um, this gun is extremely, extremely consistent, so I don't like flyers at all. The pellets itself is well built. There's no bent skirts in them. It's actually, these are almost match grade type pellets out of the tin. So I can't explain that. Let me give you guys a close up and we'll measure them. The copper coating indeed creates more friction, friction than the lead pellets. Thus they come out of the barrel a little bit slower, but they also have a point of impact shift due to that friction which is expectable, but if you change between these pallets, you need to compensate for that point of impact shift. I had some excellent, excellent groupings at the lower speeds at 730 and 740 feet per second. And then again, acceptable at 885 and again at just, just over 900 feet per second, which is not bad given that these are 14.6 grains and not 18 grains, but I actually expect them to come out a little bit faster just shows you there is a difference between copper and lead wow so i'm going to shoot the barracuda matches next and this is just purely to have a measurement so that we shoot them in the same conditions on the same day barracuda matches 21.14 grain six power settings Right, 
they need speed. That's all I'm going to say. At 842 feet per second, which was the maximum, very, very decent groupings there. So if I look at that, my two speed settings that's going to be the most accurate, I think, is around about 810 feet per second all the way up to 840 feet per second. Slower than that, not that impressive, not bad, but definitely not under 700 feet per second. Let's go measure up. All right, so that gives me a decent base to work off. I know these guys like a little bit more speed. I just hope that the copper ones, the Barracuda Powers, aren't that slow that I can't reach the speeds. But there's only one way to find out. Let's shoot the copper pellets. All right, time for the Barracuda Powers, 21.14, copper babies. Look how nice that looks. The one nice thing about the copper is you can actually see the flight of the pellet a lot easier, specifically if the sun catches a ray of it on the pallet. Nice to actually see the flight for a change with my Google eyes. Right, so on that first round with the matches, um, I totally got my holdover incorrect. They were so slow out of the gun. Hopefully I'll get it better this time. It would be interesting to see if they run the same speed as the Barracuda matches. Because same weight, everything same shape, everything the same except that lead versus copper. Same weight, let's have a look. They came out of the barrel so slow, my crony didn't pick it up. My crony is set to pick up velocities 590 feet per second or faster. My crony didn't pick up the first five shots. Let's ramp it up a little bit on the power. flabbergasted the copper pellet comes out so much slower out of the barrel than the lead ones it is amazing I don't know if that is because of the lead softness that gets easier through the twist rate in the front of the barrel versus the copper to give you guys an example the lead babies flew at 842 feet per second at my maximum setting the copper ones was at 780 feet per second. That's a 60 feet per second spread between the copper and the lead at exactly the same settings on the gun. And the gun's got air. I double checked because I was flabbergasted by the results. Time to go and measure up. The one thing that I can see through my scope already is that the moment it picks up speed, that 770 feet per second was a phenomenal grouping at 30 meters. I'm going to take these pallets out to the 60 meter range, it won't be today, it will be in the next video, but I'm not going to waste time at the lower power settings, I'd rather shoot 60 meters at the higher power settings, and if I've got some time, I'm going to up the speed a little bit on, the, on my impact, I don't want to do it because it is so sweet with the 18 grain lead pallets at this stage, but let's see how I feel on the day, maybe take out the cannon, the 30 grain slug gun, push it through, through through that gun and see what the speeds are with that I should be able to push these babies in close to 950 to 1000 feet per second with that gun so next time around 60 meters I'll have both guns out guns out funs out you know that one so um, let's give you guys just a quick close-up on that um, and then a final summary as expected the copper coated pellets were a lot slower out of the barrel but I didn't expect a 60 foot per second spread on the maximum power setting i'll have to get a little bit more power to push these guys harder i tried lubricating the pallets to see if that won't have a big difference the results weren't phenomenal especially when it comes to consistency because i couldn't consistently get every pallet looped exactly the same but at last that's not the end of it i still have the late free pallets to test at 30 meters all right folks so this is virgin territory for me in my hands i've got the barracuda greens now i've never ever shot a 13 grain pallet out of my impact neither have i ever shot anything that's that size that weighs that little it is such a light little pallet yay it's the same shape as the barracuda matches in 21 grain same shape different weight all right so how hot they are i don't know 
How they're going to shoot, I don't know. At what speeds they're going to fly, I don't know. So find out with me. This is the first time ever, as I said, I'm in Virgin Territory here. I'm just going to shoot two sighters just to see what the gun is doing on minimum power and at what speed and that I don't go through the sound barrier to disturb everybody and everything in the surrounding area. So let's do this. This is gonna be loud. Okay, that's not too shabby. Um, they are extremely slow out of the gun. To put it in different words, 13 grainer at my power setting 5 was running at 980 feet per second. Opened up a little bit. There is a magic number there. I'll post it to you guys just now, but there is a magic number. There was one very, very decent grouping. Now, these pallets are only marked to go out to 30 meters, but I think if you find the right speed on it and in your gun setting, you might be surprised. Let's go measure up and give you guys the final results. I just love surprises. What a brilliant grouping at 952 feet per second. I honestly didn't give these uh, lead free pallets any chance whatsoever but i'm mightily impressed at 30 meters that is a decent grouping that a lot of pallet makers can be proud of all right so let's wrap up the 30 meter testing um, if i look at the different outcomes there the barracuda green yes by all means there's certain speeds that they are good um, but the challenge is for the guys in the UK that sits with the lead band is that you're not going to be able to shoot this pellet at sub 12 foot pound out of a 5.5 millimeter at any decent rate. Let's be honest about that. So that's not going to relieve the problem with the UK regarding lead free. If I look at the other scenarios, the Barracuda powers, some excellent, excellent grouping. This copper pellet might be a good alternative to lead. But again, not sub 12 foot pounds. So if you've got a license for a higher power um, air rifle, by all means, give them a try. I think you'll be pleasantly surprised. The Barracuda matches, we know they like speed. Nothing to say more there. You can go and watch the other videos there. The field target trophy. Also, I'm going to show you guys the back of this paper because that's how I measure my groupings. So there's obviously one that stands out right in the middle there. That's one hell of a good grouping. I'll give you guys obviously the speed on that one. So I love that one. H&Ns and 18 grain is always good. So for my side on the 30 meters, I got some mixed results. I got some promising results. I need to take them out to 60 meters to show you guys what the possibilities are with these copper pallets and to see if they can do the trick should lead ever be banned. From my perspective, oh, they just look so shiny. They look pretty and they don't discolor like lead used to. They are nice and velvety almost on the feel. They're very smooth. They should retain their speed a little bit better. I'll show you guys the difference in the ballistic coefficients between these. And from there onwards, let's wait for the 60 meter video to come out. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe. I need your votes. That's all, folks.